Previously on Big Brother All-Stars, Janelle won head of household for the third time in six weeks. Congratulations, Janelle. Yeah! I'm here to crush dreams. What can I say? And the house guests were teased that a new secret power could be won. Beginning tonight, there is a new power up for grabs. You'll be given clues to a well-known phrase. The first person to answer correctly will win this power and could make Big Brother history. With only the first of three clues revealed. Cool. Hey, we got a pet. Four people took their one and only guess. My official guess is do not assume. Pull the wool over your eyes. Do not assume. You are expected to expect the unexpected. James tried hard to protect Danielle. I have to have Danny Lee. She has to go. Mark Summers has to go up. But at the nomination ceremony, Janelle targeted her biggest adversaries. If you're going to declare war on someone, you better finish the battle. Erica, I kind of feel like you've been floating this entire game. I think she'll be shocked to find out that I'm just a simple girl from a small town in Chill. Who will win the power of veto? And will it be used to save either Danielle or Erica from eviction? Find out tonight on Big Brother All-Stars. Danielle, um, I just feel like you're a really strong player in this game. Erica, I really enjoy you as a person, but I really despise your gameplay. Okay. With that being said, this nomination ceremony is adjourned. Surprise, surprise. I'm nominated. Second time. Let's go. I know you're a strong player, Janelle, but woman to woman, maybe I'm stronger. It's kind of like going from the penthouse to the outhouse because one minute I have the key around my neck and I'm, you know, thinking about who I'm nominating and then, you know, 14 hours later I'm on the block. But despise? That's a little, like, harsh, don't you think, Janelle? Despise? Sorry, I was going to use this thing. <laughs> Erica, to me, is just a scumbag of a player. I don't like floaters. Since week one, she's been hiding behind season six, just making us do all the work. I don't respect players like that. No surprise there that uh, Janelle nominates two women. It's kind of like her history. But I need Danielle to stay in this house. Legion of Doom, baby, has to stay in this house. Despise your gameplay? <laughs> she despises my gameplay? How could you despise a game? I mean, it's just, that's probably the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Well, that's a good speech. It was? <laughs> don't take it personal. We can't take any of it personal. I don't take any of it personally. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> Don't think for a second that that whole thing with the you can't sit up in my room or trying to be my friend wasn't a backhanded slap at me also. You know, when people are up in the HOH room and they're pretending to be my friend when they're ready to just backstab me when they get the chance, I take that personal. When y'all come down, I'm going up. I didn't even think of this plan. Thank you, boys. I was down and out, and you guys lift me back up with that plan. So let's do it. Let's 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 get down and dirty. Right. <laughs> 
Which one? They were not madly in love with each other. <laughs> I really like Mike Boogie. I have hung out with him a few times outside, and I think people are on to us. <laughs> it kind of doesn't help when your secret alliance is sleeping in your bed. It kind of just gives it up just a little. We like each other, and there actually are genuine feelings between the two of us. Big Brother just brings out the romantic in me, or maybe it's just the showmantic in me. Whoa. <gasps> okay, who are we kidding? She's got a nice rack. Her body is John Blaze. It's off the hook. Oh, my God. But she's smart and nice, too. Like, let's just leave and go have kids. Yeah, let's we don't go have somewhere. We're because I know you like have like sing against marriage. Don't always believe every story you hear. You're the one. I tell little that. stories in here. I know, but you can't ask me to marry you on another reality. <laughs> We've already done it. <laughs> let's Same not, show. Let's not even wait for the finale. <laughs> let's just do it like now. Okay. The other night I decided to do a fake proposal to Erica. We were joking around about my engagement from season two of Big Brother. I want to know, Krista. No, you didn't. Oh, my, oh my God. God. <laughs> Will you marry me? Okay, Erica. Yes. I came on this show <laughs> looking for a lot of things. Fortune, mm -hmm. competition. Mm -hmm. Me. Time with Chicken George. <laughs> and instead, I found your heart. Mm -hmm and my happiness. <laughs> Would you marry me? Yes. <sighs> Let me tell you the real deal, folks. It may be a very rough week for Erica. She's on the block, and she could be evicted this Thursday, so she's gonna need to uh, show me a little loving to try to uh, swing my vote her way. Thanks, buddy. She said yes. So um, I'm gonna play around with her a little bit. Trust me on this one, things may not be as they seem. Oh. Not going anywhere. For a long time, Janelle was my closest friend in the house. And that sort of dissipated, and I needed to find out where we stood. What is your objective now, sweetheart? With what? So I'm working on the assumption that we still have a deal to go to the final two. How come you're talking about me then? Why are you talking about me? I'm not. Now, who told you I was talking about you? Um, Will Boogie. You were going to believe Will and Boogie. We have a deal to get to the final two. And you agreed to that, Janelle. Yeah, but Marcellus, you are in an alliance with Danielle and Erica. I have one deal in this game. I'm looking you in your face, and I'm telling you that that deal was the deal I made with you the first week. I would have said anything, because I thought there was a chance she was going to backdoor me. Then how come you... You keep throwing me under the bus, and your no, team keeps throwing me under the bus. Marcellus, I was, I mean, seriously, everyone's just been saying, like, Marcellus used you. You know, he was up in your HOH room, and now he's not your friend anymore. I never hated you. My allegiance was and is to you. And I hope you feel the same way about me. Yeah, I do. She was the head of household. I know what she's capable of. You were never under attack, Marcellus. That makes me feel somewhat better. Oh, good, Marcellus. <laughs> I still love you. I still love you? I never not loved you. Oh, I just feel like you didn't love me. So now everyone thinks we have beef. That works to our advantage. Yeah. Just keep on acting like you hate me, I guess. If I win head of household, the buxom blonde is toast. Bye. Bye, Marcellus. Have you thought any more about what the special power is? No. But we need, to, hopefully there'll be a clue this afternoon and then we'll kind of just Chill, we'll think about it and see what it is. Julie Chen informed us that a new power is up for grabs, and we got the first clue. It looks like a sheep, it's got a pink bow. Is it a female sheep? Is it a you? I'm not really sure. You know what I need? Another clue. And Danielle told me her answer. You know what her answer is, right? Which is a good... DNA, do not assume. It's a good guess. We're at a crux here, though, because it's imperative Chilltown win this contest. We need to get this clue right, because we're in a precarious position this week. We need another clue.
Clue number two was a giant needle and thread since a needle actually pulls thread when it's, you know, when you're sewing. So pulling the wool over someone's eyes, which was my guess, I don't know, still looks like it might be pretty good. I would love to win this power. Could be the green giant's toothpick. It's a giant needle of some kind. We have a sheep with a or a lamb, probably a sheep. And she had a pink bow on, implying she's female. There's a spool. I think it's a U. Some something about sewing. You sew. Some praise that applies to this game. That web of lies. You reap what you sell, a stitch in time saves nine, spinning a yarn. Blanket of immunity. Oh, what a tangle web we weave. Yeah, if there's a wolf, we're going to be the next one. It's a done deal. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Why don't you guess it and then I'll try the next one? I gave Howie what I thought it might be. So I told him to guess a wolf in sheep's clothing, thinking that it'd be sewing. Maybe the next clue was a sweater, and the final clue was a wolf. Because if you don't get it out well, the next one. Uh oh, big boy! Am I in your way, dog? Excuse me, we got a guess here. Uh oh, uh oh! My official guess is wolf in sheep's clothing. Come here. Howie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Why? You told me to. I didn't tell you to tell the whole house what you guessed. No. I didn't tell the house. Oh, okay. Good. Don't tell him. He didn't say nothing. Uh, you, you just got out of the dining room, right? Yeah. Okay, don't, don't tell the other house guests what you guessed. I didn't. Here, come here. One second, Georgie. It's fine. Howie. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Done yeah, deal. that's it. Done deal. Yeah, no, it's done. Seriously? Yeah. Spool of lies. <laughs> Spool of lies. That's pretty good, Howie. Spool <laughs> of lies. That's not what you said, did you? <laughs> Spool of lies. Sheep. The rug. You lie on a rug. Spool. Ugh. Spool of lies. Is that what you said? Yeah. Seriously? Are you telling me the truth? What do I got to lose? I already said it. I already oh, yeah, okay. logged it in. So, so spool of lies? Yeah. Howie, why do you lie? You spool of lies now. Stop lying. <laughs> Have you heard spool of lies? Was it saying? So Howie's guess is spool of lies. Spool of lies? I've never heard of that expression. Oh, what a common phrase. You always hear people saying that. Oh, it's a spool of lies. Oh, what's that? A spool of lies. That's the dumbest fake answer I've ever heard. Did you say spool of lies? Did you, Howie? Are you lying to me? Am I lying to you about this game? <laughs> spool of lies is his guess. Works for spool of lies. How I wouldn't lie. Really? <sighs> Eric but what, is a liar. why would the sheep? Um, the sheep you can make like rugs and stuff out of. Lie down, carpet, sheep, but, like the yarn, the yarn, the the, the sheep. Okay. Of lies. Hey everybody, to the living room. It's time to pick players for the beetle competition. It's time to pick players for the beetle competition. Yay! Now, usually there are six house guests who compete, but last week I gave up my right to play in this week's veto. Who is willing to not play in next week's veto challenge? As HOH, I will pick first. Right now, and I need Will, Boogie, or James. Because they're telling me that they're going to throw it so I can win. Will. Dr. Yeah! 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 Delicious! Erica. Storage room for me. House guest choice! Uh -oh. James! Oh, Marcy! Marcellus! 
Marcellus and I are friends, and I do trust Marcellus, and that is, you know, that is why I picked him to play for the veto. Danielle. Kids, we got right and dirty. Here we go. By having Will and James and myself in it, I knew I had a pretty good shot of winning this Power of Veto competition. Since I'm not able to play the veto this week, I was counting on James to win the Power of Veto for me and keep the nominations the same. James, what if you accidentally win it? If I get it and use it, so now we're gonna be pissed. Yeah, but we'll have your back. The problem is, if I win this veto, I have to use it to save Danielle, but if I do use it, I'm exposed. I don't like taking chances. If we don't pull it off just right, the Legion of Doom will be exposed. It's time to compete for the veto competition. Outside and I and I'm looking flamingos, spinning chair, and then the mechanical bulls. I've seen these in past Big Brother um, competitions. Okay, house guests, we have a surprise host of the competition today, and that person is Nicole from Big Brother. Yeah. Janelle announced that there was a surprise host. It was Nicole from season two. My first thought upon seeing Nicole was, how fast can I climb over this wall? This crazy woman is gonna stab me with a knife. All right, all stars, welcome to Anything You Can Do, I Can Do Veto. You ready? Yeah! To win this competition, you're gonna have to square off against some of the most explosive house guests in Big Brother history. You will all watch a former house guest compete on a timed event. Once they finish, you must write down a time that's better than the former house guest time. The all-star who thinks they can beat the ex-house guest by the most amount of time will get the chance to prove it. To keep the Legion of Doom intact, we had to make sure that Danielle won this competition. All right, all-stars, please welcome from Dallas, Texas, the buxom blonde, April! What's up, Buster? April and I, you know, we had our differences uh, last year in BB6. Can I call you Busto for short? You think that you can low blow me and yes. I'm gonna cry. Absolutely. And I'm gonna break yes. down. Yes, 100%. No. But it was really good to see Busto. She's looking good, her boobies are looking bigger than ever. You know, I gotta do miss you, Busto. April is gonna eat 15 pieces of sushi as fast as she oh, can. Yeah! All right, April, let's see it, baby. Ready, set, go! Go April! Go April! Oh, wow, that's sushi! You, baby! They could have given you some wasabi and soy sauce at least. Oh, and the water's coming! Oh! Oh, how April. did I get talked into April. 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 April! Oh, yeah! Yes! April very bravely finished her sushi in five minutes and four seconds. So, now, house guests, how fast do you think you can eat your 15 pieces? We had to write down the time that we thought we could beat the former house guest in, and whoever had the best time got to go head to head against them. If you meet or beat the time you wrote down, you will earn the right to eliminate one all-star from the competition. If you aren't up to the test and fail to reach the time you wrote down, you will be eliminated. Please write your answers on your chalkboards right now. What is your bid, Erica? 5.03, Marcellus, three minutes and 30 seconds. 5.03, I knew it. All right, James, what you got there? Three minutes and 20 seconds, beating Marcellus is 3.30 at this point. And Wilma, what do you got for us? 2.56, what, what? All right, Will, you wrote down the fastest time of two minutes and 56 seconds. So now you will need to eat the 15 pieces of sushi and at least that, if not better. I'm about to show April why she's not an all-star. All right, ready, set, go, baby. All right, Will, let's see it. Oh, look at this little problem. 
in a very precarious position walking into this POV competition because one, I have to show Janelle I'm a good competitor. Two, I have to make Janelle believe that I'm trying to eliminate Danielle from the competition. Three, I have to keep the Legion of Doom intact and make sure that Danielle wins this POV. You're not gonna do it. You keep fooling around. He was making me nervous because he's fooling around. I'm like, what are you doing? Eat the damn sushi. Four, three, two, one. Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Dr. Will, doctor. please choose your house guest to eliminate. I'm gonna have Marcella sit down. Oh! I never get to play. I don't understand this. And it's like Mike, Boogie, and Will, they're always trying to throw me under the train. They're gayer than I am with each other. All right, house guest riding in on his trusty steed from season five, one of the four horsemen, all six fours. <laughs> Just when you think Mike Boogie is the craziest person in Big Brother history, out runs this crazy guy. Looks pretty cool. Maybe we'll give him a chill town application. All right, house guests, in season five, Scott battled it out in the Flaringo toss, and he's back yeah, to show you it. he cannot be beat. Look at him. Yeah. You must score 10 points as quickly as possible. The flamingos are worth either one, two, or three points depending on their location. All right, Sky, ready, set, go. 10 points. This is for Jace. Oh. Obviously, I missed it because you're a loser. Whoa. Oh. Maybe he's gone yeah, he's gone. Good job, baby. Yay, it took you a sorry. minute and 58 seconds to score 10 points. Now, house guests, how fast do you think you can score 10 points? I didn't really pay a lot of attention when Scott competed in the Flamingo competition. You know why? I knew I wasn't even going to compete. James and I discussed it, and we said, James, you get the lowest score. You compete against him. OK, house guests, it's time to reveal your bids. Oh, 157. Oh. All right. All right, mm. All right, James, bring it, brother. No love. Damn. 140. And Will, 150. So that means, James, James. you must score 10 oh. points in under a minute and 40 seconds. That's Do it! Gotsy! Whoops, it's harder than it looks, James. Oh, got one. So he's smashing the sandwich. Eddie, he's yeah. copying me. Come on, James. There I got you. Go. Him. Pick up the pace, dude. Go for oh. it. Yeah. Oh. Does this mean Scott replaces... Uh, uh oh Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Oh! Congratulations, James. You win, and you can eliminate somebody from the competition. Since Ooh. she did almost win two HOHs, I have to eliminate you, Erica. I told James we need to get rid of Danielle. It's all speculation, but I mean... It looks like he has a deal with Danielle. Well, it's time for the third event, Spin to Win. Oh Coming God. to us straight from Birmingham, <laughs> Alabama, <laughs> Jack is back, yeah. baby! Yeah. Yeah. It was so awesome to see Jack today. It was like seeing a member of my own family. He took a spill during this competition in season four, but he never backs down from a challenge. There you Take go. Your turn. Go Plant your feet. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, house guests, Jack is going to sit in the chair for two miserable minutes. When the horn sounds, the clock will start. The clock will stop after he places his glass of champagne onto the pedestal and rings the bell, all without his glasses. Be careful, Jack. Whoop. Love. Take your time. Yeah, I'm not going to get up yet. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, he's looking wow. very steady, people. He's looking solid. Wow. Oh my God. No movement at all. I had a good teacher. Yeah. I had a good teacher. 
Jack, you completed the challenge in an amazing 37 Yay! seconds. Nice job. All right, house guests, how many seconds do you think you can complete it in? So my, my strategy right now is you two boys need to throw this Throw it like you throw a baseball. And I hope you guys are pretty good actors. Okay, house guests, time to reveal your bids. 27 Ooh. seconds. 20 seconds. 30 seconds. So, James, you must complete the task in 20 okay. seconds or less. I was looking to throw the competition because Danielle had to win this. I had to walk a fine line and just kind of, you know, it, it just had to look good. 1,000, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000. I got it. 3, 1,000. Weird. <laughs> Come on, James. <laughs> James walked around and, and pretended to spill the champagne glass and all this stuff, and I was like, give me a break, buddy. He's just a bad actor. Okay, James, you have been eliminated from the veto competition. Good try, James. Everyone knew he threw it. I was embarrassed for him, and I was embarrassed that he was in the Legion of Doom. Okay, house guests, it's time for our final event. Yeah! Bull riding. Yeah! Straight from season two, one of the hottest men to ever Hardy. play this game. Hardy. Please welcome Hardy! Yeah. Hardy is a very good-looking guy, so I was... Just kind of nice to look at him. Okay, Hardy, let's see what you got. The girls want to see Ride the Bull. Ready, set, go, baby, ride! So far, so Is that good. A kitty ride? Put Boogie on there and he'll be Bourbon Cowboy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, Hardy lasted a delicious 59 seconds. How long do you think you can stay on? One minute is your bid. What do you got, Dr. Will? He's trying to catch me riding dirty. Oh, oh, the dad is ready to ride the bull. Will is such a cocky little bitch because he's not going to be able to beat Hardy. It's impossible. Three minutes? Are you kidding me? Come on. See what you got here. What am I at? 235. Use your legs, man. Use your legs. Don't show off. Get two hands on there. Hang on. He's on. He's on. I really He's still on. He's still He's on. on. Oh, those horns are like. <laughs> All right, that kind of sucked. Ah. Hey, have you ever had uh, 4,000 pounds of steel smash against your family jewels for about a minute and a half? I highly recommend that you avoid all activities resulting in that. I have an ice pack on and I'm never going to be the same. All right, Dr. Will, you managed to ride the bull for one minute and 26 seconds, which means, unfortunately, you lose. That means, Danielle, you win the veto, girl! Thank you. Great job. Thank you. Thank you, house guests. Thank you. My boys represent it. I feel so good. Uh, Janelle, maybe when you start a war, you better complete it. Ultimate betrayal. James can kiss my ass. He's pulling on to Danielle for some stupid reason and it's pissing me off. I, I lost a lot of respect for James today. went almost perfectly today. We wanted Danielle to win the power of veto and it was extremely successful. Danielle won the power of veto. I thought I made it very apparent to James that I wanted Danielle to not win the power of veto. What the hell? You told me last night 
the most important person to not getting the veto, you said was Erica. You why said the, what I, why right the hell would I say that? I said Danielle needs to go. On the block no. with Danielle. No, you knew that Danielle had to go. Okay. That's stupid. We wanted it's Danielle. Not Gone. If you're gonna sit there and tell her to her face and not mine that you think I threw this competition and Dr. Will just happened to lose on accident, well then okay, bring everyone up here and start asking stupid questions then. Because that's why I'm Why so didn't you eliminate Danielle? Because you asked me the thing, I told you why I did it and I realized I had up. Dr. You, Will. You were supposed to eliminate Danielle. You're supposed to Danielle. You knew that. And I, I said it to you when I looked at you, I said, Danielle. I just can't believe that you're that stupid. I don't believe James. He lies too much and he's not a very good liar. You guys are barking up the wrong tree here. Like I why said, do you want to protect Danny? Why? Is that your parachute to safety? Um, no. Her alliance is going to be decimated when Erica leaves. She's, she's powerless now. All right, Erica's going home this week. We get the HOH and we finish the job next week. Is that good? That's fine. Okay. You want to shake on it? No, we're fine. I just don't leave. understand. Like, we completely trusted you, and now you're like right here. This is an alliance right now. Marcy and Danielle are not in it. Exactly. All right? Thank you. Neither was, one of them. Exactly. That was my point. We neither one of them. Can we agree that the information stays between? So who, right do, I, who do I put up in then? This room. Make sure Erica leaves. You want her to go home? You're gonna put up Chicken George. Why don't I put up Chilltown? That way we'll have to vote to keep... Boogie. Janelle's pissed. Do not say anything. Now, she says she wants to put up one of you guys to secure the votes that Erica leaves. So our plan now has backfired. Okay, but I told her she needs to be careful how she talks to you guys because we don't want to lose their allegiance. Janelle's infuriated that Danielle won the POV. However, she's a little more mad at James than she is at me. Clearly James is with Danielle. Obviously he's in the Legion of Doom with her, but I want Janelle to be suspicious of him at all times because I'm suspicious of him. You gotta go fix this dude. You both go, both right now. Did she tell you to say yes. I said I'm gonna go set chill down. All right, let's go. Bye. Bye. The thing is, is like the main thing was to get Daniela's, so but she didn't win the veto. What the hell happened? I mean, I mean you tell us. James ball, is in your alliance, and I'm the one who thinks he's throwing, and then he saves. You didn't Danielle. get rid of Daniela, though. You got rid of Marcellus. Well, I mean, so what? Yeah. Boogie wants Marcellus out. I mean, but, that's great. She's the H O H. What do you think Marcellus was gonna do if he won? You know he's in an alliance with Danielle, right? No, he would save Erica. No, he's gonna save he's Danielle. Gonna save Danielle. He's, he's in an alliance he's, with Danielle. If Marcellus won, he was gonna use it on Danielle. We're putting power. out Marcellus because if we're, we are gonna lose somebody to an accident, we're not losing George. Oh, fine. You're putting out Marcellus. What? If we do lose somebody, we're losing a we're losing a competitor on that side of the house. You're, you're not gonna lose. You're not gonna lose anybody. You're not gonna lose anybody. You want me to put up Marcellus? Huh? Yes. Yes. And it's the ultimate test of us too, because you know how much we hate Marcellus. Marcellus will get voted out. Yes. No. He's not, then, then, then that means that you guys aren't with us if he doesn't get voted out. Well, the main thing is, is we didn't want Danielle to win it. I don't think Marcellus well, would have We didn't either, but I, I mean, she didn't want you to win HOH, but it happened. I mean, the tension with Howie and Janelle was absolutely palpable. We had to deflect any suspicion away from Chilltown. The weak link in this chain is James. Why do you guys not see that? I don't care, we need the numbers. Last year we, we put them up and it our whole game up. We're yeah, not doing it this year. It's not happening. It's a different game. The different game, does that look like Kaser? It's not, it's Mike Boogie. <laughs> if you guys don't trust James, why are we supposed to trust James? Yeah, James just came what? to us and he's like, Danielle, uh, Janelle's mad at you. I'm like, mad at me? I ate 19 pieces of sushi and got my ass beat like a bull. You're no, the one who I'm, went out I'm like a bitch. I'm mad at him for not getting rid of Danielle. Maybe you should consider getting rid of James. I'm scared of you too. Listen, I'm just like a innocent young man. You're two like vipers. We're not. Oh, okay. Well, you're very handsome. Thank you. Very handsome. You guys are not bad. <laughs> not too shabby. What would you? What would happen if there weren't cameras here? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> if I, okay, if this is the last three of us in the shower. Can we? I mean. Take a shower with us? No. Yes, you no, do. I meant in the game. I said in the game. All you have to do is give Will attention. He'll do whatever you want. Take a shower with us. Like the three of us are gonna go shower right now. Mike, look, you can join us in the shower. Go get him. Go get him. They meet you there. Yep. Bye, Doctor Delicious. You too. You, now, come with me. Oh, <laughs> I don't even think, just get up. Why? We're going to take a shower at HOH, now. Chilltown is on a little mission right now called... 
Operation Double, Double Date. Date. And the way it works is I get very close to Erica, Will gets very close to Janelle using our charisma, good looks, and winsome personalities. And what these girls think is that they're winning our hearts and they're manipulating us, but uh, what we're really doing is ripping their hearts out of their chest and squeezing the blood in the pocket of their cheap blouses before they can blink twice. What's, what's going down? Oh. So we're gonna take a naked shower together? Yes. It's naked, right? Because yes. I got up out of bed. I got woken up, so I better see some boobies. Boobies, boobies. It's all fun and games until she gives it up and then gets voted out by me on Thursday. All right, let's set it up. It's kind of showering stuff going on, a lot of washing each other, and maybe a few random kisses here or there. Oh, yeah. Once again, Howie gets a shaft. He doesn't get to compete in the first Big Brother 7 orgy of the season. Oh, my God! Mike might have taken his shorts off. I didn't see anything. I think Erica saw something. I was like, oh! Oh, God. No, I can't do that. You just did it. No, you just did. The entire shower sequence tonight is all strategy. These girls We are... took no pleasure from it. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Do it or you don't do it. Why are these season three house guests so upset with Jerry's cooking? And it's disgusting. Well, get your cell phone ready because your answer could make you $10,000 richer. Are they upset because one, Jerry used too much oregano, two, he forgot to wash his hands after using the bathroom, or three, he put lettuce in his mouth and spat it back in the salad? Text the number of your answer to 81818. If you're right, you'll be entered into a random drawing sponsored by Singular Wireless to win $10,000, open to all major carriers. 99 cents per text message entry. For free entry and official rules, go to CBS.com. You must be at least 18, and you'll be accepted until noon Eastern Wednesday. You, if you want to put me up, you have to do what's right for you. Listen, if I did, I can promise you that you're safe. If you put me up, I'm going to go. No, you're not. If you put me up, I'm going to go. Okay, I won't then. I'm just feeling so much pressure from the people once again. Yeah. You can't yell anymore, Marcellus. I'm going to get myself in big trouble. I won't put you up. What's going on? I'm gonna eat Kaser's food. <laughs> That's just going on. What? Well, he's gone. What's going on with you? Nothing. You know, I had to talk with Marcellus. Okay. He's like totally being look nice to me, and I feel horrible. I can't do Sweetheart, this. Sweetheart, look. Well. Sweetheart, look. I can't. There's no, okay, check it out. You have to decide who's in your alliance or not. If you, and I, what I like is honesty. If Marcellus is in your alliance, he's just not. tell us, and we can you separate. And and we, okay, then people have to leave. Someone has to leave every week. Nominate him. He will cry the whole week. He will, he will not go home, and he will be devastated for the next HOH. And James is shady, and Marcellus is even shadier. Oh, I know. And when Boogie and I say we have your back, we have your back. You're a stop. Look. You're a competitor. You are a competitor. Mm -hmm. You're a warrior. This is a game. You have, you've won three HOHs, you've won two POVs. You are a competitor. You're going to have to be strong, put your chin up, and put his ass on the floor. When I won the veto, I'm thinking, I'm safe, but is Boogie, Will, or James, are they safe? Everybody to the living room, it's time for the veto ceremony. Um, welcome to the veto ceremony. Janelle, you nominated myself and Erica for eviction. 
The thing about this veto is that I'm happy to have it, but at the same time, someone has to go home. I have to do what I have to do to protect myself. I choose to veto myself and save myself from um, eviction. Janelle, since I saved myself, you as HOH have to uh, pick a replacement, not many. Well, it's been discussed and um, pretty much everyone here has been nominated except for two people. So I'm going to have to put Marcellus on the block. Can he survive? <sighs> <laughs> well, with that being said, the veto meeting is adjourned. Let me just say this. I want to walk up to busted blonde bombshell and pull that brassy blonde hair out by its black roots. Then I want to rip out her black heart and shove it down Will's cold stupid throat. Chilltown and the Legion of Doom had some success today. We were able to take Danielle off the block, and with a lot of hard work, I managed to get Marcellus on the block. It's a win-win situation for Chilltown and the Legion of Doom. I hope that Erica goes home this week. If Marcellus leaves this house, then um, I'm in big trouble because people that are really close to me are lying to me. Who will be evicted next, Erica or Marcellus? And who will win the coup d'etat, earning the power to overthrow the head of household? Find out live Thursday at 8, 7 central on Big Brother All-Stars. Stay right there because the new summer sensation Rockstar Supernova is coming up next here on CBS. Catch CSI New York Wednesdays on CBS, America's most watched network. He's L.A.'s best defense attorney. I eat prosecutors for breakfast. But this fall, he's teaching the DA's office how to win. Richard Casey Woodland, not a rocket scientist. Martin Allende couldn't close a window. Madeline Poe, I'm here to learn from the best. Sucking up, an effective tactic. You want to win? Grab a pencil. This is a chance of a lifetime. Shark, Thursdays this fall after CSI.